You wanna be my shorty, but it's at my name on her body Bet I love nobody else, but I skate in that Rory My heart cold as hell, and I ain't even sorry Cut throat, you can tell, bet I love nobody Fuckin' with you, I could risk it all, got a boy better than Kobe God, I am on the billboard of New York City. I have been dreaming of this ever since I was a little mint. You click on this video and you want to know what's the tea, what is going on. Well, let me tell you something, sister here. Gotta put on the Cartier. I am here to tell you, sisters, what is going wrong with your business and how you can fix it. How can you get your money keep to keep going up? and up and up make sure you visit Times square to just see my billboard thank you so much now let's go get into it hey dolls welcome back to another video this is a new series and this series is called doll talk i know y'all been telling me lately y'all like when i make sit down videos talking about motivational inspirational conversational you know stuff video stuff like that it's a talk between me and you from doll to doll so first and foremost let's talk about what's obvious let's talk about my hair my hair, my shirt, I'm literally the brightest thing in my room right now. I look like a bottle of hair dye. This wig is from Cranberry Hair. Gorgeous, gorgeous 613 wig that I got from them. And I just watercolored the hair. I watercolored the hair using the Adore dye in the color Jade. Get your boy in hot water, put the dye in, dip your hair in, and boom voila magic so yeah i just dipped the hair into the color used only one bottle and it came out good i didn't leave the hair in i literally just left it in. i was dunking and dunking it for like a good 20 minutes but yeah make sure you check out cranberry hair if you want this gorgeous 613 bob and yeah girl get you some nice 613 hair it's really rare to find some good 613 hair that color is very good very bright very bright so yeah the link to this wig will be in the description box below cranberry hair also have a lot of coupon codes that you can use go right onto it you know i've been getting a lot of questions um a lot of concerns that people is saying people is at telling me what what they're doing wrong in their business like what's the issue stuff like that and honestly we gonna get right into it straight to the point before you even think about what's going wrong with your business i want to say you have to make investments first okay i don't know if you heard this before but the better you put in the much better you're gonna get out Do people say that i think i just made that up but <laughs> facts for real like you gotta put your work your all your everything because it's something for it to come out good okay you need a budget so whether you have a business yet or not even if you're a existing business owner you need a budget if you want to like do something different with your business you need a budget you cannot just go ahead and just spend money on an ounce no you need to plan it out this is how you save your money and this is how you do it the smart way okay so you need a budget so if you're first starting a business you want to start a business and you don't know what your budget is you want to spend under some people want to spend under $50 and 100 500 1000 you know people have a lot of different price ranges, a lot of different budgets however me I'm gonna tell you guys my first start of my business I just went ahead and did it I think I spent like $200 um yeah yeah y'all already know I have a crazy business history if you don't know it then girl go watch a few past my videos okay I didn't really spend that much I didn't really plan it out and that's where I went wrong but now I'm here to tell you guys everything because I went through everything and I gotta put y'all onto the teeth for the wrong thing like me what you can afford okay do not go ahead and buy all this expensive packaging expensive this expensive that to be honest with me like when shipping the products out the outside don't matter it just as long that the product gets there safe that's what matters i don't need to spend all this money on pink bubble mailers when all they're gonna do is just throw it away when they get their package you don't need to spend all that money now that is an option i'm not telling you to just not do that at all how can save money like expensive packaging it's it's a lot um 
So I will go to, I go with like the envelopes from um, the 99 cent store from Dollar Tree. I use those. They are very, very affordable. And also, you have to be smart, okay? To save money on shipping, they go ship by the weight. Um, you can go by priority mail, however that goes, but I sell a lot of small items. I have, you know, my shipping is going to be less money because the more the product weight, the more the package weighs, the more they're going to charge you, if you didn't know that. So for the envelopes and like um, those yellow envelopes and stuff I use, they don't really weigh as much as the other um, envelopes, like the padded ones. Shipping don't be that much. A smart way, if a package can fit in this little envelope, put it in there, okay? Put it in there. You don't need something big. It's just gonna wait. It's just gonna be more money when you're shipping it out. Thing is, um, website domains. <clears throat> I don't know what it is, but I don't like when I see business owners whose website be micascosmetics.shopify.myshopify.com. You understand what I'm saying. Most people will understand what I'm saying. If you understand what I'm saying, say. I understand what you're saying. Okay, but I don't like those domains. First of all, how is this person supposed to? like find you all the time like they're going michael's cosmetics tony cosmetics that my shop will find that like nobody got time for that buy a domain okay buy a domain so basically you can buy you can have your own original domain it could be dot com dot org dot net however you want to be but you need a good domain if you want to take your business seriously if you want people to find your website you can buy a domain. I use Shopify. Shopify, you can buy a domain right on the website. If Honestly, listen, if you create an account for Shopify, literally all your answers will be on Shopify. You can buy a domain from there, from Google and stuff like that. And it's only like $10 a year or $11 a year. A year, not every day, okay? So make that investment. That's, that's a small investment. That's just the domain, honey. We got to go to the next one. Then wholesale products to um sell to resell on your website which you know every business does buy the items for cheap and then you know they sell it at a you know good reasonable price to get their profit and uh, make sure your vendor prices are good because you don't want to be spending so much money on this wholesale items for you to sell and then you have to double that or triple that amount for it's for you to have a good profit then you're going to be going to that era where you're overpricing your items and that's not going to bring customers it's just going to be like up oh, girl well <laughs> by clicking off the prices are a little bit pricey make sure it's at least worth it it, it caters to you of what you want to do now i do want to talk about should you pre-order or should you have inventory on hand once a customer orders something from your website you order it from your vendor and you know send it off to your customer that's what that is keep all the popular items in your inventory okay all the popular items, you know that this product is very popular. It's going to sell. It's probably going to sell out in the next two days. Keep that on hand, okay? Because honestly, pre-ordering is, is good too. You know, if you don't have the money to buy everything or however your situation is. Let me tell you the downside of pre-ordering. Um, you're not really going to be making as much profit. You don't want to be spending the money that you just got from the customer on the product and then you got to take away that and get your profit it just it can be a lot sometimes just do it that way keep the popular items only in your inventory or if you have or if you can afford you know to keep almost of your inventory it's up to you my website i have wigs i have um wholesale i have clothing i have jewelry accessories i have a whole lot of stuff get like a t-shirt y'all guys know i make my custom orders yeah guys know i make the t-shirt custom so i have a lot of blank t-shirts and once i get a t-shirt order i custom make it and ship it like that so you know it's just not sitting around and you know what if it never sells you know i like to do it that way sometimes you just don't want to go through the headache of just you just want to have that item right in your inventory so you can just ship it out but yeah do what's good for you i am a Vinda, I'm a Vinda. So if you guys need any wholesale products, I, right now I have rings, jewelry, necklaces, um, lip gloss, 
custom t-shirts, stuff like that on my website for wholesale at the moment. And you can also contact the wholesale number on that on the website. Text the number, be professional, be professional, okay? I don't really like, uh, I take business very seriously, you know, when it comes to business, I'm not talking to you like you're my homegirl. I'm being very professional, very proper, very Alex Alexinda, okay? So yeah, please just come professional to me, say hello, just thank you. It would, it would mean a lot, it would mean a lot. Check out my wholesale section on my website now. What's in the wholesale section is what is in the wholesale section. Don't go to my other sections of my website and be like, is this for wholesale? No, it's not, okay? What you see in wholesale is for wholesale. Take risk, even if it fails. Like, I had so many ideas with my business before, and I didn't take those risks. Like, I was like, this is not going to happen. Nobody going to buy this. Nobody going to do that. And, girl, you have to take risks. Because, basically, sometimes the only person that's stopping you is you don't care if somebody think it's stupid who gets a goddamn it's not their goddamn money they ain't gotta look at your goddamn stuff period okay so yeah take risks even if it fails like i'm always thinking of new things for my for myself for my business and i just don't like to I just like to take risks. I like to, if I have an idea, if I have something in mind, I'm going to go with the girl. Because, one, I'm going to go with it. People who have businesses for all the wrong reasons, to so just, you know, they're money hungry, they're scammers or whatever. But this is my passion. Like, I, this is my passion. Bus doing business is my passion. It was never my passion to work for somebody or to work for the city or the government or whatever. It was never my passion. Like, oh my God, I want to work for, no. I I was never doing that. I was like, oh my God, I want to have this for myself. So it's all about you and yourself. Invest more time in yourself. If you see yourself stressing, if you see yourself just not doing well, take some time out, girl, and relax. I tell you guys, I was so damn stressed these past weeks. Like, I was just in and out of my house, just going, walking, working, picking up stuff, going to post office, back and forth. Take time out for yourself, invest in yourself, take a day off, or whatever you have to do, honey. You having a business change you as a person, or, you know, social media, anything change you as like a person change out the person I have to say having a business for me personally i don't know about anybody else but it changed me as a person it really does i think having a business just brings a whole new mentality to you you learn more because you're doing it everything on your own so basically you're teaching your own self stuff and learning from yourself you're basically your own teacher okay so yeah um it really changed me as a person because before I had a business, you know, I was clueless. I really wasn't taking, you know, what I want to do in life very serious. Like, I, I was not. Um, I didn't find my passion yet, you know, before. But once I had my own business, I was like, this is my time. Like, I literally remember um, a job didn't accept me. I, I forgot what job it was. And I started crying because I was like, wow, I have no job. I can't get a job. I'm gonna have no money. I'm, it's just like crazy. And this happened a while ago. <laughs> like, I think two, three years ago. And I was crying like, oh my God, like, what the fuck? <laughs> but I was like, you know, I'm being my own boss. I started selling my old wigs. I was in high school, my wigs. I was selling synthetic wigs, okay? It was nothing major. I was selling synthetic wigs. I was, you know, I made a good penny off of that. So basically, I, that's when I started hustling. And my hustling turned into having my own business. Hustle, hustle, hustle until I started my own business. And oh my God, that was the best decision of my life. Like being a business owner, it changed me. It changed my attitude. I'm more, I'm very confident now. And let me tell you why you grow confidence as a business owner or some people don't. Because being a business owner, you're going to go through those times where nobody's supporting you. Nobody's supporting you. Nobody's going to help you. Nobody's going to be there to talk to you or whatever. Or somebody probably going to make fun of your business. You know, however it goes, you're going to go through that, okay? You're going to go through rude customers. You're going to go through people trying to scam you. You're going to go through that. If you don't, then you are lucky as hell. You learn patience also. You want to be you learn to be patient. There's going to be customers out there that try to test you. It's just going to be a lot. So you have to you grow a whole different attitude, a whole different 
better side of yourself. But let's say the downfall is of having a business also is like sometimes it's a lot of stress all on you. Now, if you have a team, stuff like that, I don't have a team. You know, everything I do is with myself. So sometimes all the stress, everything comes back to me. Like if there's an issue, I have to fix it. You know, it can be a lot sometimes. So that's probably a little downside, but honestly, it's the best thing you can ever do having your own business. Attitude change. My attitude changed so much. Like my attitude got worse, but good. I just have like a bossy attitude. Like you literally turn. You know how you watch the movies and then there's this old lady who who's a who's the boss of the company or whatever, and she's like, "Give me my coffee. I want my chalata coffee and my coloquele de pataño." Give me a no. And then the the worker says, Oh yes, um, I'm sorry, Miss Aquas, I'll get the bike for you. You know, the little assistant who just run around the place, you know, being mistreated. I feel like that boss lady. That's so crazy. Like you just for me, pers I'm say personally, because I don't know. But me personally, I just grew that boss mentality, that boss attitude. Like, I don't need you. Like, I'm the boss. I, you listen to what I say. You know? And I don't mean that in a bad way. I, it might sound bad to free people, but fuck it, I don't care. Somebody, like, decline you or they just reject you, it don't hurt you. Because you're like, oh, you needed me. Like, the fuck? I'm everything. I'm, I'm the boss. Like, I am that bitch. Okay, so you, I grew that attitude, and I wanted to have that attitude for so long. Like the attitude where I just genuinely don't care what people think. I don't care if people don't like me. I don't care if people reject me. It's just a good attitude, and I've grown that, and I love it. So that's how being your own boss can really change you, and the better way you gotta have confidence. You gotta have a backbone. You got to not be sensitive. Okay. You got to get your money. You got to be on tap. I'm holding back, guys. Um, it's not the end of the world. Don't boohoo and cry if your business not doing well. Cause honestly, my business does. You know, honestly, sometimes my business has slow days too. You know, slow days differs from everybody. Some five orders might be a slow day to somebody. One order might be a slow slow day. A hundred orders might be a slow day to somebody. So it differs from everyone. So do not think like you're the only do not think like yours is the worst thing ever. Oh what you're doing wrong. So what I realized I was doing wrong with my business is I wasn't like promoting I wasn't like I wasn't having other people promote my stuff. So I have I had I used to have this fear of sending stuff people sending free stuff to people and they never do what I say or it never happens. And I have that fear so bad because I don't want to give somebody what I worked on for so long out of my money, out of my hard work money. For them to just not do what they're supposed to do or just steal from me, that's a big fear I have. And honey, if that happens to me, I swear hell is gonna Satan's gonna come down from Satan is gonna come from hell and just swoosh in my body and just shank somebody. Fear I have, and I still have that fear. So I know that's one thing I need to work on for my business is finding some good promoters, you know, that are actually social media stars, you know, close to celebrities. I'm trying to have the the most popping person in my clothes. And I also go to you guys. Don't make investments in the wrong people. As in, don't send free stuff to people that's not going to benefit your business. Don't for send free stuff. And this person is not going to give you the marketing, the the um, traffic that you need for your website. Don't do it. It's a waste of time. Okay? You got to choose wisely. You got to be smart. Okay? That's what I'm doing. I'm working on, you know getting influencers people i can trust people that's popping stuff like that because it's people who's who's really grimy out here hope you guys enjoyed this doll talk i really love this um definitely comment down below what other topics you want me to do i will be i, I will be doing more topics just comment down below don't be shy because of my business boys toys all of that if you want this chain it's on my website it's a savage chain it's gonna be my favorite chain ever
new to my website make sure you check it down below and make sure you check out everything on my website thank you for the support and hasta la vista junta la quinta put it in a rica better get that cita mm. slay into your hair turn into skittles